Mach XO programmable logic devices are the most versatile, non volatile PLDs for low density FPGA and CPLD applications, and we're about to see how easy they are to use. Let's start by taking a look at their architecture. The non volatile flash configuration memory on the Mach XO provides instant on availability of logic without the cost concerns of an external method for configuration. In addition, Mach XO PLDs offer the benefits of integration by providing up to 2,280 lookup tables for logic, embedded memory, built-in PLLs, an onboard oscillator, multi-voltage high-performance IOs, and low-power sleep mode. An optional on-chip regulator allows users to operate the device using a single 3.3 volt power supply. In addition, Mach XO PLDs support Lattice's transfer or transparent field reconfiguration technology. This enables you to do remote field upgrades with minimum system downtime. Designing with Mach XO PLDs is simple using Lattice's easy to use Mach XO mini development kit. The kit has a preloaded mini system on chip demo that incorporates I2C, SPI, UART, and SRAM interfaces, and also Lattice's 8 bit microcontroller. You can then build your own designs using our free downloadable source code and integrate these features in your designs. Let's see what's inside one of these kits. The kit includes the Mach XO mini development board with USB connectors, two standard USB cables, a quick start guide, and download instructions for free reference designs and ISP lever design software. Here's a block diagram showing the Mach XO mini development board connected to a terminal program. Notice that the Mach XO PLD is configured with Lattice's compact, open sourced 8 bit MECO8 microcontroller. The board features the Mach XO 2280 device, 2 megabits of SPI flash, a megabit of SRAM, a temperature sensor, an expansion header for I2C and SPI interfaces, and user switches and LEDs. We use the USB cables to connect the board to our computer USB ports. One cable is for programming and the other is for communication with the PC. You can verify the preloaded demo is up and running by touching the temperature sensor. The LEDs indicate changes in the temperature. Now let's start up a PC terminal application so we can communicate with the demo board. I'll be using HyperTerminal. We can now communicate with the board and get a precise reading from the temperature sensor. The communication protocol between the Mach XO mini development board and HyperTerminal is under control of the MECO8 microcontroller that's configured in the Mach XO. A history of the commands we enter with the mini development board is stored in SRAM. We'll save that command history to SPI Flash and reboot the demo board by unplugging the USB cable to show that we are completely resetting the device. Now when we read data from the SPI flash into the Mach XO, we can see that we have read back the previous command history. We could download a complete new design to our development board, but instead we're just going to change the assembly code for the MECO8 microcontroller that's stored in the Mach XO's block memories. We'll do this to show how easy we've made it to do code development and debug using the MECO8 microcontroller in the Mach XO. Here's the new assembly code. We'll upload it into the Mach XO's block memories within a matter of seconds without changing the look at table fabric. And here we have a new function operating on the board with this LED pattern. That's fast, easy design development. Mach XO devices are the most versatile, non volatile PLDs for low density applications, and they're easy to use, especially with the comprehensive suite of popular reference designs and design software that you can download for free from LatticeSemi.com. Take the next step order the Mach XO mini development kit from Lattice Online Store or through our distributors and jumpstart your design and hardware today.